Hello again and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to repair an image. As you can see up here a couple places in this picture have been stamped out and I'm basically going to show you how to repair that using copy and paste and the clone tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at that and see <laughs> as you can tell these are pretty convenient areas to um, have damage to the photo. A lot of times I did a restoration of an old poster and it was damaged from the top down to the bottom and it took a lot of creativity to sort of figure out where there were missing parts what should go there. And Some of it was guesswork, some of it wasn't. In this case it's pretty obvious where you see things that are missing um, what it is. So in this case what we're going to do first of all is I'm going to repair this area and I'm going to draw a box um, probably let's see right here, maybe go over a little ways right there and I'm going to go up here now you can do shortcuts here but I'm not going to um, in this case, copy, which would be control C, and paste, which would be control V. I'm just going to use the drop down menus for it. So, first thing I'm going to do is copy, and then paste, and then go over here and move what I pasted down here, and do my best to match it up. This is the trickier part, so that looks pretty good. So, okay, now the first thing you're going to notice is that it looks like something was pasted down. And this basically is where the clone tool comes in real handy. So, what I want to do is I want to get rid of those hard edges. So, you push Control and when you push control you just click down on your left mouse button and right there you're gonna sample from that area so if I came over here go like that I'm basically sampling from that area and as you can tell the hard edges go away now the opacity I kinda I don't want it at a hundred percent because if I had it at a hundred percent you would really it would it would be really really um, too sharp and what I want it to be is somewhat kind of blurred when I copy it. And let's see. Okay. So as you can see, we've gotten rid of those lines pretty well. So I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. Line as tight as I can. Now, <clears throat> the other thing I can do is I need to go in a little tighter. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So again, I'm going to go back to my clone tool. And I'm actually going to make the size of the brush a little bit smaller. The first thing I want to do is go in here and get rid of those sharp edges. Go over here. So we do the same thing. And as you can see, there's still some sharp lines there. And still some right about there. This is probably isn't my best work that I've done, but you get the idea of how it can be how it can be used. I'm still not happy with those edges. So I'm gonna even go in a little tighter. Again, go back to using my clone tool. And I'm gonna paint up here. And I can 
in to sort of get rid of that. Um, and actually, this is a case where I want a harder edge brush. So I can get in a little tighter. Just get rid of that. It's all these little details that when you go to look at something, it just doesn't quite look right. And your eye sort of tells you, hey, something's not right here. And this is what you try to do with this. Is you want to go in, do your best. And now let's go ahead and see. Okay, it's not perfect. I could go in and do some more work there. It definitely needs it. Probably need to go in and sample over here and bring it in, but you get the idea of what you can do. You know, so let's say you have an old family picture or just an old picture that you like a lot and you only have it in hard copy. You don't have a digital copy and that copy was damaged in some way. You can go in and try to fix some of it. And let's do this last little area here. Um, this one, let me see here. I'm going to have to zoom in again. All right. So as you can see, we definitely need to go in and use the clone tool. Make it a little bigger. Definitely don't want it as. Should get it as big as I can. Let's see. Let me go in and sort of paint that in. Bring up the opacity a little bit more. See, I'm just filling in that area that got punched out. And that's not bad. So what I'm basically doing is going and clicking a bunch of times and slowly kind of cloning that in. And that's a lot better actually than the other one. It was also a little easier. Uh, let's see. Again, we want to get rid of those hard lines. Come over here. Okay. Doesn't look bad. Let's. Uh, a little bit bigger than that. All right. That's going to sample over here. And put it a little bit darker. So again, you got to fool around with the opacity when you're doing this because in some cases you don't want it to be a hundred percent. In some cases you want fifty percent or somewhere in between. And again it's all the goal to make the repairs you're doing look as seamless as you possibly can. Oops. Tighter there. Looks like another kind of cool thing you can do as well. A little darker there. Oops. All 
All right. I could spend a lot more time doing this, but it gives you kind of the idea of what you can do. You can see I sort of did a general repair. Now, if you want to get serious about it, you definitely need to take a lot more time. And you are going to make mistakes. And that's what's great about undoing things or just keeping, you know, not saving over the top of your original. And just practice at it. And you can get pretty good. So thank you very much for your time. Take care. Bye.